Welcome to the Golden State Warriors News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. The Golden State Warriors have been one of the top teams rumored to acquire Utah Jazz star Lori Markkinen. However, negotiations have been tricky, with Golden State and Utah having significant differences in their expectations. Recently, Mark Stein revealed that the Warriors have not yet offered Jonathan Kaminga or Brandon Podziemski for marketing. However, there are indications that the Warriors might be more willing to trade Kaminga, considering his free agency comes up sooner than Podziemski's. But why isn't Utah as interested in Kaminga? Eric Pincus from Bleacher Report highlighted that, while Jonathan Kaminga has value, the Jazz are specifically looking for Brandon Podziemski. The reason? Kaminga is approaching a substantial contract extension, which might not align with Utah's rebuilding timeline. The Jazz, in a rebuilding phase, may not see Kaminga as the central piece they want for their future. Moreover, there's no guarantee that Kaminga would commit to a long-term contract with the Jazz. This makes the situation even more complex. If the Warriors and the Jazz hold firm on their demands, we might not see Markinen joining Golden State this season. What do you think about this situation? Will the Warriors adjust their offer to bring in Markkinen? Or will the Jazz end up choosing another path? Share your thoughts in the comments. As the suspense continues over the potential trade of Lori Markkinen to the Golden State Warriors, the tension is palpable. The strategies of both teams are clearly at play, and what happens in the coming weeks could change the NBA landscape. What's your take on the negotiations? Should the Warriors offer more to secure Markkinen? Or is the Jazz being too inflexible? Share your ideas and speculations in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on what promises to be an exciting summer for the NBA. For the Golden State, adding Markin into the roster could be a masterstroke, offering a new dynamic to the team with his scoring ability and dominance in the paint. But with the Jazz asking for Podziemski, a young prospect who could be the face of Utah's future, the Warriors need to carefully consider their offer. On the other hand, the Jazz are clearly seeking assets that align with their long-term rebuilding plan. Adding Podziemski could be a key piece in developing their young and promising team. The question is whether the Warriors are willing to adjust their offer to meet the Jazz's needs. As the offseason progresses, new updates and rumors will certainly emerge. The Warriors might find a compromise or even look at other options. And who knows, a new twist could happen. As a Golden State Warriors fan, I understand why adding Lori Markkinen would be big news. Markkinen is a versatile player who could really make a difference on a team that already has a solid foundation. His ability to score from outside and his presence in the paint could perfectly complement the skills of Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. However, I also see the Utah Jazz's point of view. They are in a rebuilding phase and need assets that fit their long-term plan. Brandon Podziemski is a young talent with great potential and could be a key piece for the Jazz's future. If Golden State isn't willing to include Podziemski, it's understandable that Utah would want to keep that asset. Negotiating Kaminga is complicated. He has a lot of potential, but might also require a contract extension that doesn't align with the Jazz's long-term vision. If the Warriors believe Kaminga can develop further and help in immediate competition, it might be better for them to keep Kaminga and find another way to acquire Markkinen. I think the Warriors need to consider if they are willing to make a greater sacrifice to acquire Markkinen. If the team believes he could be the final piece of the puzzle for a championship, it might be worth offering more. But on the other hand, if the team thinks they can continue competing with the current roster and young talent, it might be better to maintain flexibility and avoid a trade that could destabilize the team's balance. The balance between keeping young talent and pursuing established stars is always a challenge, and what happens in the coming weeks will be crucial in defining Golden State's strategy.